So I just got a package in the mail. The Chromecast Audio came. Uh, this is, if you're familiar with the Chromecast for television, uh, this is the equivalent but only for speakers. Uh, so the way it works is that instead of like having Bluetooth speakers, what you can do is you can plug this into any pair of speakers in your house and then um, on your Wi-Fi network your phone or your laptop or whatever will you know find that and know that it's there and when you're using a service such as Google Play Music or Pandora or Spotify or any of several podcasting um, apps like BeyondPod is the one that I use uh, you can tell it to instead of playing through the speakers on your phone play it through the speakers that are attached to this and it just starts streaming and then the advantage that it has over Bluetooth is that you can just walk away you know it doesn't have like a range um, other people who are who are on the Wi-Fi network uh, could you know can view like the playlist that you've got going and then uh, you know alter that playlist if they want to so I guess that's a, a plus and a minus because then you might have multiple people in the same house kind of fighting uh, over what uh, music they want to play so that's what this is. Let's go ahead and see what's in the box. And then we'll do a setup. All right. So let's open this thing up. Got a nice little getting started guide on there. And there it is. Just like on the front of the packaging. We got the Chromecast itself, which is a little... Um, I mean, I want to call it a hockey puck, they, but they obviously made it to look like uh, a tiny little record with the grooves and everything um, and the chrome symbol of the middle. It's got a single 3.5 millimeter um, audio jack that plugs into this really short cord. Let's see what else there is. Here's the power. Just a micro USB port. Great, I, that's all I need is, is more USB chargers. And now I'm confused because uh, I was under the impression that this thing came with more types of outputs because they talk about how you can use either three and a half millimeter RCA or optical. Um, oh, okay. So you can plug it into any of those as long as you've got a cord that adapts for it. <laughs> they did not mention that. Well, I'm sure they did legally, but uh, uh, that was not clear to me. Fortunately, three and a half millimeter is all that I need uh, for our setup. So that's uh, that's what's in the box. It's, um, I mean, what do you expect for $35? All right, so this is my speaker setup right now in the kitchen. Uh, we've got these two uh, paired speakers that are meant to be Bluetooth and uh, do kind of left-right audio. Um, and we've got this one um, that's wired, um, just with a line in. And uh, fortunately, these two actually support daisy chaining, um, so I can just run a three and a half millimeter cord that I already have between them and chain on a third thing. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, and then we're going to just plug in the Chromecast audio as the source of the first one in the daisy chain. Um, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna use the the new cord with the Chromecast to connect the two uh, speakers. So I'll put that line in right here and line out right here. And then the Chromecast audio. We'll go into the line in right here. And this is a lot longer than I need for this purpose right now. I'll just hide the Chromecast audio back there because it doesn't need to be visible. And then we'll take the new power cord and plug in the Chromecast audio. Now I do have uh, a couple of 25 foot audio cables that I forgot to bring home um, but eventually those will be very very useful for um, creating kind of a pseudo surround sound system um, by placing different speakers in different parts of the room uh, you know hide them up high 
uh, on top of the fridge or um, on some cupboards or whatever. Alright, so plugging in the Chromecast audio. Got a little LED that's flashing at me. It's yellow right now. And I've got a little button there. I don't know what that does. Pushing it didn't seem to change the LED at all. So I'll just leave that right there. Hopefully have all these cords out of reach of the cat. And then what we gotta do, well, I guess I should switch on all the speakers. Now the really nice thing about this setup is that I can just take some uh, splitters, take some nice cheap speakers, and I can expand this whole setup uh, as much as I want to. Of course, if I use too many splitters in a row, then I'll start to get quieter and quieter and lower and lower quality audio. Uh, so I only want to do this when I have to, um, which is why I'm really glad that I've got these two that, that daisy chain and let me take, you know, three speakers just off of one source already. Um, so I'll probably use uh, these to add um, some other desktop speakers that we have. Currently those are in our television setup, but soon we'll have a real TV and we won't need those in the living room anymore, so they'll come over here and live in, uh, in the kitchen. And then all you have to do is come into the Chromecast app here and set up the Chromecast audio. Cool. So Oh man, that is so close. My Chromecast audio is number 1339. Oh, that's so close to 1337. That would have been hilarious. I would have also accepted 1138 because that's my favorite uh, number. So let's go ahead and set that up. All right, let's play a test sound. Wow, I didn't even have to put in like the Wi-Fi password or anything. I guess it uh, automatically transmits that. Woo, yes, I heard that. Very loud, thank you, Will Wheaton. All right, so now we can name it. I'll name it the kitchen. Uh, kitchen speakers. How's that? Yeah. Do, do, do. Enable guest mode. This allows devices in the same room to cast without being on your Wi-Fi network. It uses a combination of your cast devices, location, and Wi-Fi to find nearby devices. Sure, that sounds good. Send Chromecast usage data and crash reports to Google. Yes, okay. Oh, now I have to... Okay, yep. So now I'll set the Wi-Fi password. You don't get to see that. Alright, browse my cast apps. Now, since I'm on uh, audio, there's going to be a more limited uh, number of apps that I can do. So you see here that for video, um, if I had a Chromecast attached to the television, which we soon will, um, these are all of the ones that would work. You know, we've got obviously YouTube, Twitch, Netflix, um, and then some other ones that you might not think of, like slides. So if I wanted to do a presentation up on the on the television, um, I'd be able to look at like the speaker notes here on my phone and uh, transition the slides remotely. Um, and Google Plus, if I want to look at uh, pictures. Um, but for the audio one. All we've got is uh, Google Play Music and BeyondPod, because I don't use Spotify or Pandora. So let's go ahead and I'll open up um, Google Play Music and I'll select the kitchen speakers. Whoop! That was an exciting sound. Yeah, so if I play this, this is going to be super loud. Yup, just scared the shit out of the cat. <laughs> <laughs> it was on my shoulder. And I can also cast podcasts. So there is still lots of time to go. Oh, there is a lot of football left. There we go, Hank. figured out. Okay. Well, there's a lot of Mars le left to play there we as go. well. Uh, do you think that the guy, this uh, this Montserrati guy, is, is, is the secret to your success?